Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV, and welcome to development number eight uh, for the Cumbrian Coast and Furness Railway route. This is still work in progress, as you can see in the top left corner, we've got the work in progress logo. Um, so this route is not yet available. It's coming along nicely though, and what we're going to show you in this video is what's been going on. Um, so it's been a, a quite a few months since we did our previous video, um, where we showed you bits and pieces of what what had been going on with the merge. Um, a lot's changed um, in that space of time. Originally, we wasn't going to do the merge until we actually did a, a release of V1. That went out the window. Um, we, we literally did all the merging, as you'll have seen, um, and then we decided to... <clears throat> originally, we were going to do the, the Barrow Avoider to at least add that implementation of running through the route. Um, so you could obviously do Millum to Barrow and Barrow to Millum, but you could also do at least for that in the first part the avoiding services. So you could do the fast trains and stuff that went away from Barrow to Preston. We decided. Well, I say we decided. Mark said we we should we should do the full hog, and I agreed at the end of the day because it actually did make more sense to do the whole lot in one hit. Um, it has taken a, a good few months to fill the gap around the top end of Barrow back down to Dalton Junction, but. What you're going to see, and if you haven't seen our uh, streams whilst we've been route building, um, what's been going on. So, what I want to do is, just for those of you that haven't seen the map, this is what the route looks like currently. So, Millum is here. You've got Barrow here. And then route goes along the Furnace Railway, so the Furnace Peninsula, down to Carnforth. And then you have the West Coast Main Line. So the West Coast Main Line is the West Coast Main Line over Shap, which we have had merged in. Um, we've also had that merged in off the um, the Furnace and Morecambe Bay route. So ba really, it's actually the full Furnace and Morecambe Bay route. It's just, of course, it had West Coast Main Line over Shap as the base route of that, um, where we've got it all in one. Um, so we managed to get permission from Filter to include his route, um, his route extension to the West Coast over Shap section. Um, he allowed that, and then Ian McKay, who's known for suburban Glasgow, um, he did all the fancy merge work. He did all that, <clears throat> and not on, only that, we've also had help from uh, Pete Mitchell, who's known at uh, Alan Thompson Sim. Um, he merged in very kindly the tiles for Preston, so we could actually make use of the, um, the actual custom station rather than us having um, a kit bash. <clears throat> we wanted to have the proper. Um, like proper station model there really um, to have it as a terminus that currently as you can still see is actually disconnected um, this is actually going to be getting sorted within the next week or two hopefully um, all being well uh, Mark's got a little bit of time hopefully to put that together and uh, work on um, some gradient changes and stuff around there just to make everything uh, possible so hopefully on the next video we actually may be able to do some driving who knows who knows even if there's a bit of scenery missing we may even be able to do something down there Anyway, let's go and head back over here. So, this is Barrow. Barrow Station, still the same. Um, hopefully in time that will uh, get some textures and be finished. And then, uh, job will be a good one. There's literally, that is the only thing that's um, stopping that end of the route uh, being properly fully usable. But we're not going to bother with that. We're going to actually focus on everything this way. So, we're going to leave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly through the route. <clears throat> just show you guys what's going on and how much work's gone on really to be quite fair since January um, I mean January was the last I'm trying to think now January was when we was hoping to do a release more or less because obviously the the, the top end of the route was virtually ready apart from the station um, so we were just hoping on the station but in, in the meantime we was like yeah we might as well uh, first of all do the merge and then do the avoider and then we just went well we might as well do the whole thing and as you can see a heck of a lot of work has um, taken place since last time we saw this area in a video you'll have seen these streams uh, for those that you do watch the streams regularly um, we, we held quite a lot of route building sessions on our um, weekly streams well twice weekly streams we, some nights we did it like both streams mixed in with driving just to mean that we could actually get this done and it was quite a big job in itself so you can see they've got the dock um, over here as well, just take you for a quick look around there 
quite a sparse area. Um, there's actually not much really here. Um, there's, there's, there is a crane to hopefully come in um, at some point. Uh, we've actually uh, passed this on to Callum. Callum said at some point you should be allowed to have that done. Um, that would just make this area uh, and just finish this area off. Um, maybe some boats, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's the dock. Uh, quite quite a full actually building that. It's a very, very much a big task. It's all kit bashed. It's all been put together with filler blocks and stuff like that just to get the right shape. You, you obviously you can't just mound the terrain as such and uh, make it look like it is. You've got to you've got to make these things up with the the, the accessories and bits of um, scenery that you have at hand. So a lot of banks were placed, and again the concrete filler blocks um, all played a nice treat and part. And as you can see. <clears throat> it's all shaped out quite nicely and it also goes down there as well that's all over, over there's the BAE system hoping to maybe get um, <clears throat> a submarine asset maybe uh, for in there as well we have mentioned also that's where submarines are um, put together at like BAE systems but yeah currently that is how this part of the route looks heading back this way we head back to the junction we're going to head our way around towards Ruse. We've got all sorts of industry bits and pieces over there. Derelict buildings as well. Goes into a lot of residential area again, all the way around. So this section is, is quite a big part of the route, really, because it's it, it rounds itself back on itself and heads back that way. So you've got a lot of stuff on, on these tiles. Um, we tried to do it as, as best we could to keep it, um, keep it detailed, but also keep it... Um, Quite simple and building away from the track just to keep the uh, the frames friendly as they are. So we've got um, Roo Station. Uh, Roo Station's kit bashed, no customs uh, as such. Here. We'll be getting some custom station name signs, um, but other than that, it will be as it is. Pretty basic though in the, in real life, it's pretty much as you see it. So yeah, the name signs will just make it uh, and just finish it off nicely. Quite a new housing estate here. There's a couple of houses that have still been built up at the time, uh, but the majority of the actual estate had been built uh, when this route was being portrayed. All sorts of houses up on the top there. And you can see the extent of the details going up that hill as well, obviously. We'll carry on down this way. So we're heading towards Furnace Abbey, and you've got Park, uh, I think it's called Park, is it Park Farm? Something like that, I think it is. Um, the farm is this on the the bend here. It's a little bit detailed. I'm not quite finished this bit yet, actually. Um, the majority of the actual line is actually finished. It's just I haven't finished the detail in here. I actually forgot about it to be quite fair. I thought I'd actually done it all, but yeah, there's this little bit here just to finish off. So I need a bit more detail around the crossing, um, and then just a bit of uh, minor detail and some bits of clutter just to go in around the houses and the buildings there, and on this side as well. But yeah, for the most part, it's uh, it's all done. It's all train painted up. <clears throat> So you now can see, you should be able to see the uh, the Abbey. So this is a custom asset that Callum put together very, very kindly, and he's done a very good job of it. It's uh, this is Furnace Abbey. Got the uh, the tunnel on this side. Tunnels are all um, just what we've got at hand. No custom tunnel portals have been made for this, uh, but again, the Abbey itself was made as a custom because you just could not kit bash anything like that. There was nothing at hand. It had to be done as a custom asset, and it, Coming around the, in this section of the track, and you just see it poking over the tops of the trees, like through there. And you think, what's that? If you've not run the route before, and you, you're going to come around here and see that, you're going to all have a look at that, and you think, oh wow, I hope. <laughs> and just sort of admire it and marvel it. And you can probably get some really cool screenshots as well, because obviously the track beds uh, literally just through them trees there. So you should be able to get some quite fancy little uh, artistic shots if you're uh, that way inclined. If that's what you like to do in your TS uh, time. This bit was kit bashed um, with bits and pieces we had on that wall loss and just bits of stone rubble out the OTS library and that. So we're heading towards um, Dalton Junction now. In a moment you'll see <clears throat> the very, very, very steep incline. It's a bit like a roller coaster this part. And we actually did question ourselves that we got it right. Well, I questioned Mark and he didn't question himself. Had to then go back and look at the documents, but it's right. It's it's crazy to see how much of a, a drop or climb it is in just such a, a short section. I mean, it drops down here, 
then you just see you just see it climb it, it's crazy it, it, it levels back off again here it's, it's crazy mental this is Dalton Junction so this is where the avoid line comes in so this is what he was originally planning to have for now in the version 1 release where you can actually drive around but then again as I said <clears throat> we got this all added in as it made much more sense to add everything in one hit rather than making you guys wait to actually drive around to Barrow that way it made more sense um, custom signal boxes to come uh, for Dalton Junction I think this is the next one on list um, he knows about it um, so we're just waiting for that to come and then we'll work our way through the list uh, in order of the route I probably would assume this is Dalton Tunnel I think it is comes out this side you've got Dalton Station just here again kit bath station no customs such here just what we've got at hand but there will be some custom signs to go in on this one as well just to finish it off and at least give it the, na the name plates it needs so as we leave uh, we head towards the merge point of the route you've got the, uh, the extensive uh, area of Dalton Dalton in furnace and tons of uh, wind turbines as well in this section of the route you can just see them all on the hills there There's some more over that. There's one over that side as well. That's on the uh, near Park um, Park South. This was quite a challenge. This uh, part of the route to build. Um, we've been on such a such a hill, trying to get everything in, everything to sit right. It did take quite a while, especially with putting all the fence work and stuff in there. I think on the last video actually some of the, we had actually started some of this but it was nowhere near to the state of it where it is now um, it was very much early days work in progress when we did a video at last but you can see we head towards uh, Lindell Tunnel which is the merge point of the the, uh, the two routes we go to the cutting got Callum's nice uh, custom rock faces there love the detail he's put into these these aren't custom for the route these are in the OTS common library uh, these were made for Leeds to Manchester and they just perfectly fit for this as well um, with a few tweaks and rescales and stuff like that we've uh, managed to fit them in nicely uh, rather than using the default stuff that came uh, through DTG a little scrapyard there as well quite cool look down there you go into the tunnel. No, uh, no occlusion has been put into this tunnel as of yet. Um, those will be added at some point soon enough. So we're now on the um, the furnace railway section of route. This is the, uh, the you'll see a bit of change in the scenery to be quite fair, um, but there has been changes. I've just literally finished the full tree revamp, so we've updated all the 3D trees um, and bushes um, between here and just outside of Preston currently. So that's literally just been finished tonight, um, which will, uh, I'll take you for a little fly around um, on that. There was a bit of scenery missing on this part of the route as well. Um, it wasn't quite finished at this part of the route. So we've uh, finished off the uh, the bits and pieces there and then finished off the terrain painting. It was quite basic really, there wasn't actually much really to be put in. So we're heading towards Ulverston. <clears throat> it really annoys me when the game does that. It sort of like gets all worried and it sort of like stutters around and it puts you that way, the way you don't want to be. <laughs> I know it's not just myself. I've actually had um, people in the stream say it happens to them as well. So it's nice to know it's not just on my game. So we're just coming down to Ulverston now. New semaphores. Uh, new custom box to come still yet for this one so that will be uh, replaced with a, a nice shiny new fit for purpose box uh, what should actually be there this is Alverston 
Nothing's been changed here. This is as it was. Um, I am aiming though. I, well, I'm actually working currently on updating platform lofts. So I've made a start and uh, on these, but I have actually made a, the first start on the Morecambe section. So I've done uh, Bear Lane and Morecambe. Um, I've still got to do Haysham, or Haysham, however you say it. Um, I was told off the way I see it. Um, but yeah, I need to do that one still yet. But it's looking a lot better with nice, uh, nice and new uh, lofting. So. I aim to do the whole section between um, like Overston down to Carnforth and I'm not sure about Lancaster or Carnforth to be fair with them being bigger stations I need to have a look at them and see um, what I can do uh, with what assets and loss we've got so I may be able to have them done with a lot new loss uh, but until I, I tackle them I don't quite know um, where we stand with that yet. So the main part to see down this now is um, the updated trees. Still be a few little bits to put in here. So I'm gonna sort of some grass out down the sides of these banks. It's a little bit bare in some areas, so that'll be tidied up. Also hoping, not on the list at the minute, but I would like to hopefully have a, a proper monument made for the uh, from the hill there. It's currently it uses a chimney sunk into the ground. That was already there before we took over the route, so it's uh, it's not been touched. Uh, as there's nothing available just to go uh, replace it with. So we're at Plumpton Junction and uh, Leven Junction here. So that heads to where the Haverthwaite Railway uh, is. Plumpton Junction as well uh, takes you to the once I think it was coke plants and stuff like that mineral and stuff because if you uh, if you use the Stainmore route from Steam Sounds of Premium that's actually in on that route um, it's got all the terminals and stuff in there can't quite remember if it's mineral minerals or coke or aggregates I'm not overly sure on that eleven viaduct uses our side viaducts uh, custom asset but it fits in quite nicely for what's here. Pretty much identical, to be quite honest. We're going to be doing a full sweep of the route as well with um, trackside clutter, as it currently does lack uh, cable trunking and stuff like that. So that will be uh, another job to do. F um, obviously, all the way up from well, starting back, probably at Barrow, and working down to Preston. That way it's all um, in line with each other. That way you're not sort of seeing a seam of going from um, full detail in one part and then to a, a, little bare, a bare section. We'll follow cob, uh, the cab, cob rides, cab rides and uh, we'll do as much as we can there to put stuff in. Basically if we see something and we've got it, we'll put it in. Heading towards Cark and Cartmel. Just around the bend here. Again, um, platforms lost, uh, not being changed yet, and also there will be some new station signage and probably a retweak on the clutter as well because you can see it's got Dumfries platform lamps in there at the minute. Um, those will be uh, took out and we'll have whatever needs to be there. So you can see there is a mixture in the foliage. You can see some of the older stuff, but mixed in with the newer trees. Um, I don't think it looks too bad, to be quite fair. Um, with all the new track and stuff, and that it sort of has brought it to newer standards with the with the better sky and stuff. If you simply had the time to do everything, we'd rip the whole of it up and redone every single piece of the track size uh, foliage. But it's just a a, a mon. A, a, God, I can't remember that. A momentous uh, job, really. It's. Uh, it takes us a lot longer than just swapping trees out. And the trees alone took me about a week to do, um, just to do all that. So it's still quite a lengthy process just doing that bit. <clears throat> There's a few older free, uh, 3Ds still actually in there. Most likely will be changed by the time we get to the release. It's just I've done the main one by the track side.
You can see there is little bits of detail I've been added in. We've got these newer flange lubrication uh, devices. Those are the OTS ones. Bits of that signage and stuff that I've seen off cab rides that they've been putting as well. Heading towards Kent Bank. For the best part of these platforms, they're all the same um, size, so it's quite a, a simple changeover. Really. It's just a, a new offset and move them into place, make sure that they're sort of in the same place so they're not uh, too far away from the train and track and that. And it's just making sure that obviously the, the clutter's right. Stuff like the fencing and stuff may change, um, bits and pieces that um, may not actually be there. If we see how the cab right needs to be changed, then we'll swap them over. Grange over sands is the uh, the next point. Uh, there is a few little uh, breaks in the track. Uh, these will be sorted. It's just where the elevation has not quite been set properly. So as you can see, it's sort of like it's been set well into the curve. It should be further back. So we'll sort them out and get them tidied up. Grain job stands is just literally ahead. <clears throat> it's the same story with all the stations to be quite fair. The um the names and stuff haven't been made yet for this part. They've all been uh, put onto a document ready for be uh, put together. So those will come as and when time uh, that, that time comes. At the minute, it's cu that's custom stuff. So main customs are signal boxes uh, on this um, part. This is just the bits we wanted to do. For the most part, everything else is all right. Um, and we can get away with what we've got in there. But the signal boxes, um, rather than having the default stuff in. It made more sense to have the proper ones in there. Excuse me. <laughs> Yawning mid-video. Probably wasn't the, the wisest decision to do a video at uh, half past, well, quarter past one in the morning. But uh, it was a, a quiet period in the house, so it just made, it, it was good time to quickly put this together. Um, as it, it was quite well needed, to be fair. It's been a long time since we did this uh, development stuff for the route, so. Keep you guys up to date on what's been going on. All right, so we're heading towards Arnside Viaducts, and then uh, the station's just on the other side. So you can see as well, um, some of the train paint needs uh, to be sorted here. It's still quite bare at the minute. <coughs> so that will be sorted as we get through. Uh, there is some other bits back towards uh, Ulverston that do need just tidying up. Same again here as well, it's just uh, not quite finished. The thing as well to note was, with the furniture route, that was actually still a work in progress project. It was on the workshop. It was not finished, so we just took it from uh, took it over in its current uh, state of what what was there. This is our side. Traffic home like there is in real life. Well, there was one at one point. Probably not there now, but it was there on the picture in uh, sort of the area we're doing it. So we'll have a, we'll have a traffic cone on the, uh, on the shelter there. <clears throat> Why not? So 
So we're heading towards Silverdale, and then just after Silverdale, uh, you'll get to Carnforth, which will join the West Coast Main Line. This section, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, whistleboards in this part, so there's that one there. Uh, there's another one there. There's more going the other way to be quite fair because of the, the curves. So we've got there's one there as well. If you look, there's one. So there's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. That's just that little bit. Quite a. Because of all the, the curves and the amount of foot crosses there is. One. This is Silverdale. There's a sign I need to put on the uh, other platform here still yet. It's one of the um, signs that shows if you run on the other line, it's like it's an X sign and uh, a limit. I think it's 30 if you run on the wrong line out of this part. I do need to check over the cab right before I do that, but uh, yeah, that is going to be put in at some point. Was it available at the time when uh, we were working there? Since um, since then, four aspect simulations have uh, updated their signage pack, which um, has those in, so we will be putting them in. We head towards Carnforth, which is the last station on the Furness Peninsula section of the route. So this part was quite easy to do with the trees because there's not actually that many there. I've stormed through some areas, where some areas did take a little bit longer than others. I see I've actually missed some trees there. A few areas I'll get these two D's will be gone as well. I'd like to try and have something done with the um, West Coast Railways uh, compound. There's actually some track missing in here. Um, I think when it, was, it came out of West Coast Mainline over Sharp, a lot of the track weren't actually placed. So that if you look around here, you do actually see there's some sheds without track and stuff. Nice to hopefully have that maybe done at some point and get that relayed in there. Maybe a bit more as it should be. It'd be nice to at least be able to use that and then obviously run tours up the coast and stuff like that. You can see as well um, the boxes. So there's another box that's going to go here, which is the uh, the current use box. This at the end of the station here, I never even really realised until uh, I, I dug a bit more deeper into the signal boxes around the area that this actually was a signal box. Um, Shut down, I think maybe in the 70s or 80s, I think it shut down before that new one was put into use. Um, so that was going to be actually getting done as a custom for the area. Uh, again, platforms, um, I don't actually, to be quite fair looking at it, I don't see why we can't actually update these. Um, it's the right size, so we should be able to update these um, without any issue. Uh, it's just when you start getting around here, I mean, to be fair, all the blocks are in place. We just leave the blocks as they are. Uh, it's just changing the obviously the, the frontage, so we should be able to change that, and it shouldn't actually look too bad. To be fair, it probably actually will look better with the uh, the filler blocks. I think the textures on the tops match more. But it should look all right, I think. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't, I'll be reverting it back. So now we um, we join the West Coast Main Line here. You can see the, the mass amount of OHLE that got put in. More or less is all sorted. It's just a case of getting the last bit of trap put back together at Preston, then we can rewire Preston again. It was actually it was originally done before um, we merged the uh, the Preston tiles in. It just means we've got to redo that bit, but it's not an issue. Soon be able to get that sorted. 
take a couple of days hopefully. And then we can actually electrify all the track up properly in the uh, properties and then actually be able to run some trains. Which would be nice. So the route as well, um, I think since the last video, actually, it, it, I think it was re-signalled, I think possibly for the video uh, last, I'm not too sure, but definitely uh, since the video, uh, all the speed signs have been sorted. Uh, these were all defaulted when we merged everything in, because we had to lose the track rule for this section of the route. Um, so yeah, they've all been sorted and set up since, so you can actually run properly now without uh, having to run a 60 or 40 on the default speeds. Heading towards Bolton with Sands. See the uh, the bay there, Morecambe Bay. Again, you can see all the new trees that have been put in. I think in my eyes, I, I don't know about everyone else, but I, th I just think it's given West Coast Mainland over Shep a bit of a lease of life, just putting the track, the trees, and the new actually in there. Um, there's other bits and pieces that I've been doing as we, uh, we'll now see, uh, which is this level crossing here. can't remember what this one's called. I actually have been here quite a few times in the past to take uh, photos. And you can actually stand in this little gate area and you can actually get a decent view. Sort of like if you zoom in enough, you can actually get a good picture. Um, not, been, not been here for a few years. Like I used to uh, come here when the 20s were still working on the fast trains and uh, there was 56 on logs. But you could actually get a couple of the right pictures. So I've re redone all this and re rebuilt all this level crossing just because it's one of the places that I've been to uh, for photos. Um, obviously, by, by knowledge of sort of the area, how it looks. So that um, communication box actually is. The original from West Coast over Shaft originally wasn't on that um, this like sort of plinth thing. Um, we've actually now put that there, the, the equipment cage thing, and scaled it out, and then put the actual communications box on top, and then we've added some steps to it as well. A little bit of uh, creative hand with the uh, kit bash in there. Yeah, it's all all in place, all tidied up. And uh, just changed a little bit, not not massively. We we'll just put the pavements in and stuff like that as well. It's the other thing I've done with the crossings is actually put pavements over the, with the roads and stuff and tidy things up. Moving on, we do come to another level crossing uh, quite shortly, which is Hess Bank. What you'll see with Hess Bank is um, the new custom signal box. Don't think we've actually shown this on a video yet, so this is the first time it'll be put on a video. It's been on the streams, uh, but yeah, we've got an actual custom box here now, um, rather than the default one. The default one was actually the correct shape, uh, more or less, but it just lacks the the detail of the a real one, uh, the actual the actual thing. So we've got the actual name board on there and stuff now, uh, so we actually know where we are. It just makes that view nice, a uh, bit nicer. Um, crossing's been updated again here, so you can see the pavements have been put in, um, new um, runs for the road, and trespass uh, panels on this one as well. Uh, the compound has been rebuilt. Um, it didn't look anything like this. Um, there was buildings there originally, but they got knocked down, so it's now actually a bit, it's a bit more true to how it looks. Um, we tidied up the area here, put a, a grass banking on there as well. Just give that a bit of a tidy up. Got a new footbridge uh, placed in here. Because originally there was two bridges kit bashed together and you could actually get down to the track level there. So we've now got rid of that and uh, got a proper one that spans over the, uh, the railway there. So what we'll do is we will uh, verge our way over towards Morecambe. I'll take you for a quick look down there. Again, all the trees have been sorted on the Triangle Junction here. 
and you'll actually you'll see in a moment um, oh, some new gantries in there with all the older style gantries and the JTCL. Those uh, come quite nicely. The speeds are quite interesting here. Um, the boards and stuff like that. A little bit of taking, getting, getting figured out. The different speeds. Quite a complex little bit there. So yeah, you'll see here is actually the new textures. Uh, well, the new. When I say new, the Liverpool Manchester lofts. So they've been placed. Just the filler block there. That will be tied up. Not doing it on the video, but that will be uh, one of the things we'll go over and just check things. I've got to come back and do um, new name plates and stuff like that for the signs. These are still the old original ones at the minute until we get made. You'll see that there's a bit of a change. The signal box is gone. Um, that was actually demolished in 2012, so that's gone. Um, we've rebuilt the entrance, so there's actually now a ramp that goes up that way. The box original was here, and you have to, I think in the past, you went around the back and come off the platform that way. I rebuilt this side as well and put some new uh, bits in there. It's just a bit more up to date. Same going with the crossing. Same job again, updating the crossings. This road a little bit, uh, a little bit screwy here. You see, it's got a little bit iffy. You may try and relay some of this, to be quite honest. New green palisade has been put down here as well because it originally was a, a wooden picket fence. That's been updated. Stuff like the new, there was distant boards here originally, but we've got new ones in there as well now. I think those ones are actually uh, North Wales coastal ones. A bit more true to what was actually there. We've got the tall posts on them as well. Same again with more, can we can see here that the uh, the platforms have been updated. Not overly keen with this uh, fill block I've put here. I'm not trying to find a different one that just uh, blends in a little bit better. Heading towards Hesham. Plenty of caravans. Again, the only thing we've done here is just update the trees and bushes. And it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, one thing I do need to do, you'll see in some areas, you may see that some fences just sort of end abruptly. Um, some fences when walk about on the merge, I don't know why. It must be just the nature of merging things and stuff. It may just sort of go walkies. Um, so some fences do need um, re adding to and just uh, finishing off again. But uh, I will do a full sweep of bits that are missing. Sort of one of the last things I'll do to be quite fair, just quickly adding them in. For the most part, most of them are there. Just a little, you can see here, there's, there's a missing fence there, but it probably ends and starts again somewhere around here. There you go, you can see where it ends there. It's just It's just been cut off, it just needs to finish over there. It's not a massive job. Same again there, but easy little jobs. See, we're nearly there now. So this is uh, Hisham. So I've updated all the the lorries. Got um, better models in there rather than the Kuju ones. Um, some without containers and some with, and some just with um, lorries on the road and stuff. It's just a, a little bit of a nicer view if you when you're coming in and out of there. But man, trying to find something to put in here as a um, for like a ferry. Be quite nice to have in. I think platform is yet to be updated here. I'm going to be sorting them probably tomorrow. If you're watching this video after the uh, day or two after it's released, they've probably been sorted now. But that's the, uh, the branch down there as well. Just a bit of updating. So I've updated the car park. I think the main thing is I've just changed the car parks here. Because uh, they were all decals originally. 
So yeah, they've uh, been updated. Other than that, nothing's really changed in there to be quite honest. It's not an area you can really get to and uh, see what's inside. Obviously nuclear and all that. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, we'll fly back to the west coast mainland and we'll uh, we'll have a, a little fly down towards Preston. Right, so we're back at the west coast mainland where we left off before. So we're heading south now towards Lancaster. Uh, no, another little cool feature, uh, just to make you aware of as well, that was missing. Um, as you come off the line just out of Bear Lane and head towards Lancaster, you'll see you've got this uh, you've got the signal PN uh, two six one. Just ahead of it, there was actually a spadding indicator that was missing, uh, so that's now in place. So, for all those out there that go through red signals, like myself, be warned, you will get that. Um, come on. <laughs> not yet seen it in operation on this route yet. I'm not actually driven. I'm not really driven in part of this route at all, to be honest. That will come in time, though. Can't wait for the time to come when we get to actually drive down here. The route itself actually has the wires, but it doesn't have the property set up yet currently. Um, as what will happen is once we set the track to electric, it will have extra wires appear. Those will then need to be taken off um, in a track uh, track bin change, uh, and then it'll uh, it'll work as it should without having the extra wires on top. We've got the bait gateway. So this was an, uh, a new feature to the route. Well, this was quite recently added, only a few years ago, um, in real life. So we've got this in on the route as it's uh, as it features on our era. Changes that view quite dramatically, to be quite honest. It's quite quite cool to see that as you come around. I drove over here the first time a few weeks ago. I mean, it's been here for a good number of years, and I actually managed to get on a drive over it the other week. My last bank holiday, I think it was. We actually spent the day in Morecambe. We went back to the motorway this way. Someone would actually like to come do some photography. So you do get some quite cool views, especially if you get to the right, the right side, sort of, if you stand in the field and that. Definitely won't mind coming there. We're just approaching Lancaster now, on the outskirts coming in. Crossing over the Loon. And on the station. So again, this is one that I'm going to hopefully try and uh, sort the, the platform lofts out. Bit more tricky with being such a large station. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work if it's going to have brakes and stuff. Um, if it turns out to have brakes in it, it may have to stay as it is. But I will give it a go and uh, we'll see what happens. It'll just probably make it look a little bit better. Would love to have a custom in, but I think it's a little bit too big and a bit too much to ask of um, Callum and the team to put together. Not too bad to be quite fair, all in, but I think with the uh, with some updated platform textures and on different lofts and that, it might actually just give it a little bit of a lease of life. To be fair, across over the Lancaster Canal. So next station, uh, well, aerial Preston, but we will fly into Preston anyway, just to take you to have a look for those that haven't seen the station yet. Um, it's an Alan Thompson sim uh, model. We've got the um, missing link route, so West Coast Main Line, Midlands and Northwest route enabled um, for that station. And we have used some other assets out of the route on on this, um, as they've proved some useful bits and pieces. Again, there's a few little bits that have been missed off there, so then bushes will need to be changed. Fencing again, as you can see there, it's just sort of randomly ended. And 
is the Albert Loop. Uh, loop, loop. Lancaster University just sort of be on there. Get this right. I think the next viaduct is called Conda Viaduct. I think it is. It's over, it goes over Goldgate basically. Um, so you've got that one there. There's another small bridge that goes over top of the uh, yeah, the viaduct. I think it's Conda Viaduct or Codner. I think it's Conda. To be quite honest, cross over the A6 there. A road I travel down quite a lot. To be quite honest, this is my sort of area analysis. As close on this route you can get to my area of uh, Fleetwood and Blockpool, the Blockpool area. You've got Bay Horse. Another job that needs doing as well, just to point out, is the uh, the pylons. So again, the merge, all the wires sort of disappeared. So these are getting ripped up, and we'll get some we'll get some newer models in here. To be quite fair, these ones do look dated. Um, we'll use the ones that we've been using throughout the rest of the route uh, on the newer bit. Same with like telegraph poles as well. They need the same sort of job doing. to Scorton now, so Scorton uh, is just over there. Another cool thing maybe to have added at some point down the line is the um, the motorway tower uh, fort and services. All dependent if, if you can actually see it from over here. It's quite a big tower. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can see it from the train or not. I need to try and work that out. And there's another wind turbine that needs putting in somewhere over there um, near the, uh, the cheese factory at Garstang. They have their own wind turbine. So you can see that for quite a while, so that need that does need adding, I think. But Barnica. It's another bridge I've, I've used uh, before for fotting. It's not a bad place to get pictures. The M6 alongside us. In the Garstang area now as well, so Garstang somewhere just around here. The salt, um, salt igloo. That's actually one of the ones off Sheffield to Derby route, but it's in the Common Library at JT, so it, it fits perfectly because it's exactly the identical type of building or structure. You got Badger Bridge. Another another place I do come and do fault in um, occasionally. Not so great though because that big monstrosity is in the way, so it sort of ruins the view. Um, might try and uh, work on this bridge to be quite fair because it actually in reality it doesn't actually drop down s so much uh, that quick it, it sort of gradually goes down uh, to the canal so that, that may be something I will look at to be fair because that really is tricking me just looking at that try and sort something out with this bridge as well because at the minute it is really really poor it's quite low quality A little bit of uh, work done around here as well. A new bridge has been put in. 
path in as well has been changed rather than it used to be a bridge loft that, uh, with walls on the side of it that's been changed and uh, this one has been changed as well so this is Brock so uh, this is one of the places that I really wanted to have a little bit more detail added in because um, this is one of my more regular spots that I used to come to a lot before they put this bridge in um, so I put the trees that were missing here, um, the little stone pieces that you can actually sort of sit down. In reality, there is actually um, sort of like a, a history board. Um, there used to be a station here. This used to be actually be a, a railway station. And there used to be a level crossing um, and stuff here as well. I wouldn't mind trying, maybe try and get a picture actually of the uh, little board there. It would be quite cool to put in. Um, again, you've got the bridge. So I've changed the bridge. It was a really, really naff loft originally. We've put a stain mold uh, asset in there, which pretty much is identical to what's here so that's been uh, changed over uh, all the fencing has been updated so we've got the palisade in here as well um, on there and we've also changed the car park now so it's got a bit more detail on it this is a um, car dealership as well at the time it was um, Land Rover and Range Rover but now it's just any old car basically and you've also got um, a mock-up of me without the ginger locks um, as there's no ginger characters in the game, but yeah, that is virtually is meant to be me um, with my camera and tripod. Fine. My little mark to the route. Not too far from Preston as well now, so just uh, flying down this part. Another thing I might try looking at sorting out at some point is this bridge. Um, really is a bit of a monstrosity. Um, for its time, it probably was alright at the time when it came out, but it's not uh, nowhere near what I'd like it to look like, really. Uh, a new bridge that I've come to in time, um, I'm probably going to add, I will be adding some more detail here to be quite honest. Um, I've actually been here a couple of times to take photos and videos, it's quite a cool uh, spot. So we'll probably add a little bit of extra detail to that location. Got brought on loop. Updated the viaduct here. It's still Kuju, but it's a lot better than what originally was there. Um, and also put some missing pipe work that's actually meant to be there. That's all in there. And this is the uh, the final straight into Preston. So you've got Octay's Loop, which comes up on the left shortly, uh, before we get ourselves down to Preston itself. So you'll see where the gap is, and I'll show you what needs doing. Um, to look at it, it doesn't look a lot, but it will add a lot more work to be done uh, once Mark's done what he needs to do and I'll show you what in a second because it's, it is, it's, it's quite tricky to explain really the gradients uh, need work um, currently if you look at this the track ends here currently come around here so it's loading Preston in there we go. When we get to here, this is where the issue lies. <laughs> the the track is a lot higher than what it needs to well well it should be. So Mark needs to um do something with the track here, make a fake gradient and uh make it so it matches up over there. And then what will most likely happen is we'll end up having to rip a majority of the scenery out around around the track and just rebuild it. Um, just to, to match in as best we can. Um, same around here again, track and stuff like that. A lot of this will be rebuilt. Um, hopefully this side doesn't need rebuild. I've virtually done all this bit. But anything around here is going to have to be ripped up and started again. To some degree. Got Preston Station. Which is the uh, ATS model off their, their route. Be nice once we get all this all sorted and with all the clutter in there. And then uh, at the other end, 
track again needs uh, laying just from this end just down to the top up there and then once that's done uh, we'll have to redo all this wiring because currently it's not at the right height so that'll be ripped up and started again but um, otherwise um, Preston is literally like the only thing that's uh, left to be done really um, in the grand scheme of things exciting times really it's, uh, it's getting there it's just been a, a long process obviously trying to juggle it in with work as well so once we get busy with work this sort of dies off and sits waiting for me to come back to it and uh, do some more but we've done quite a lot recently so we're, we're working in the right direction and uh, hopefully you guys uh, sat at home looking at this uh, can't wait for it <laughs> I can't wait to get it out there and get it done uh, it certainly has been a long long project but the end is in sight really now it's not far off uh, all being well once we get this uh, last bit of track so I can I can plow on and uh, get it rebuilt around here but uh, yeah that leaves it where we are to be quite fair we've got quite a lengthy video there I was gonna do some route building at the end of it just for fill a bit of timing but I think we filled the time um, so that will uh, certainly come at uh, another point or in the stream so thank you everybody for taking the time to have a watch this video uh, don't forget you can like share and subscribe um, head on to twitch and you can catch us on there we do two a week currently uh, Thursdays and Sundays from half past eight to evening um, usually to around midnight all doing well to so do a mixture of route building and driving so do come and join us on there uh, link is in the description below but it's uh, twitch.tv for slash trainsim underscore tv um, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Take it easy, and we will see you again on the next one. Bye for now.